Hey guys, me nice last year five nine with another review. Dark and Moon Jolt. Gonna do this in a hurry. Okay. Here's the box. Um nothing new about it, just let me position that up it shows it well by mode. It says Jolt does not know the meaning of the word calm. His body pulses with more energy than an energon reactor in a Cybertronian summer. The high freaking Autobots have attempted to teach Jolt patience and restraint, but he's yet to learn. Loyal to the end, Jolt fights on, fights on to the front line of any skirmish with the Decepticons. Alright, there you go. Here's the video. Back to the weapon. I don't want to show because it's pretty dumb and it's, it's ugly. So yeah. Here's the weapon. Uh, show you. He has two mechatech ports. Right there. Pretty obvious. There. Pretty dumb. Okay. It's very nice. It's based off a Chevy Volt. Pretty nice. Oh man, I gotta clip the nails when I'm done. Doesn't show much kibble. Uh, yep. Looks pretty decent. Except for the big gap, but you can't fix it. Oh well. Transform him. You, you, un you grab here. Oh. I separate here a little bit. What I do separate this and and slide these out. That's the second step in this transformation, but it makes everything go all simple. To do. Put that up. Next, you. I press here and tap that out, and here, tap it out, and then slide that. And you tap the legs, move his feet down, move his feet down, pull that down, get from here, pull that down. That creates his legs. Next, put the, these up, and yeah. Sorry about this though, I'm standing up because I don't have a chair with me right now. Okay, next you rotate that out. Rotate that out. Put these down. Pretty obvious what these are. Next you put those in and then rotate this out. What I do is get a nail in there and pull that out. I'll just gotta clip these when I'm done. Rotate these like that for now. Get that close there and then gotta wiggle these a little. Yeah, there you go. So eventually get in front of that. Next you flip that out. Next you put that and then that. Next I see next too much. Okay. Then you Tap that into place and then put those down. And there you guys have oh, instructions tell you to keep it like that. I don't like it. What I usually do is tap these back and put these, well, open these up a little bit, put these back the way they were, and then tap them back into place. And then tap that down. So he has like a Sideways sort of look if you play the Living in the Palm game, which I played all of, and it's awesome. Sorry. So we have a Gadjolt. It's a pretty decent figure, but it has its flaws. Like, um, uh, I believe to me, this feels like one of those figures that, bends, that has been rushed. I'm not trying to be picky about it. They could have done more up in the front. Could have done more with the hands. 
they say the rotates this, but it doesn't really matter. Or with the legs. At least, like, change it up a little. And at least with more with the back. But, yeah. But, oh well. Still, it's a decent figure. And articulation. 306 degrees in and out. Rotates. Moves. Leg forward and back. In and out. And at the knee. Foot rotation. Moves. Foot moves. And rotates. And heads on a ball joint. I am getting another one of these figures soon. I just need to do a few things. And um, I'll be able to buy another one for a custom. Next to uh, Skyhammer. He's a tiny bit taller. But um, this guy's a good buy. I got him on clearance for 7 bucks. It's a good figure. I suggest you get him. He's a good figure if you want him. If retail price, nah, I guess that's okay. For on clearance, it's a good deal. That's been another review. Bye.